This is a net zero assembly, and what this assembly is made of is it's a two by six stud framed wall, and then there is six inches of XPS insulation to the exterior of that wall. So again, the benefit of wrapping the building in exterior insulation is that it eliminates as many thermal bridges as possible through studs and window openings and whatnot. For this assembly, the air control layer is the WRB to the exterior of the wall, and this is a peel and stick membrane. So it's like a gigantic roll of tape that sticks to the wall. It can be difficult to work with at times if it wants to fold in on itself, but once it's actually installed, it's not going anywhere and is a very good product to use. The reason that XPS can be to the exterior of this WRB is that XPS will actually help to guide moisture down and away from the building as well. So this XPS can handle that moisture. Another benefit of using XPS is that this uh, particular insulation is vapor closed. So this is now our vapor barrier, which then eliminates the need for a vapor barrier on the interior of the assembly. With this assembly for the window installation, it's very similar to a standard construction window install. It's installed on the framing member at the sheathing layer. So with this, very similar, like I said, we used a sloped sill and then we have the shims wherever it might be required for uh, structural requirements for, from the window manufacturer. And then once that window is installed, we can either use tape to, or some other type of sealant to tape the window uh, flange and then bring that WRB, that self-adhered membrane down onto this tape. Or if we wanted to, we could actually just use this WRB self-adhered membrane and put it right onto the window uh, flange there and therefore maintaining that air control layer through a window installation. Uh, for the sill flashing, what we've done is the same as standard construction. We used one uh, peel and stick membrane across the bottom, had it wrapping up the sides a bit. We had to cut uh, the corners to make sure that it flips down and over the side. Then we use a butterfly corner to make sure that that cut there is nice and sealed. And then one member uh, installed after the fact at the on the sides to make sure that everything is nice and watertight there. We did use spray foam that you'll see when we get to the interior to insulate the window um, the window opening between the window jam and the rough opening, but that has nothing to do with air tightness because that air tightness is maintained through the WRB being taped to the window flange. Where we do have to consider air tightness on the interior of this assembly is we can't tape the bottom of the window because we want to leave that open in case moisture does accumulate and needs to get out. So if you could see the bottom of this window, there would be a bead of caulking connecting the window frame to this uh, sill, um, sill drainage, which is part of the WRB and part of that air control layer. Therefore, maintaining that air tightness from the sill to the window. With this assembly, we do have to have custom flashings made up. And so along with that, unless we install the window at the exterior, we will most likely have to have some sort of custom trim return detail. Uh, with that, we can use, we used metal uh, drip cap to show the bottom side, how to finish the bottom of a window. What we can do, where we do have to have through flashing going through that insulation, we can actually use the WRB membrane on sloped cut insulation attached to flashing on the exterior and then that eliminates the need for a metal flashing going all the way back which metal is a, a very a very large thermal bridge so there would be heat flow coming out through any sort of metal that does have to go back from the exterior to the framing member um, we do have to have through flashing at the bottoms and at certain points to allow that drainage to happen if any moisture does accumulate behind the cladding. And so similar to the exterior mineral wool wall, this is installed and the, uh, the XPS is attached using three quarter inch rain screen strapping. And we had to use a lot more beefy structural screws on this assembly as we're going through six inches of insulation. So this attachment method might have to be designed by an engineer and approved so that uh, the installers can install it properly. But we use this three quarter inch material as a rain screen so that any moisture that does get behind there can still go down, 
behind this flashing here and can still get to that bottom through flashing and get directed away from the building. On this side over here, we can see the structural screws that we have had to use. So we can see that they're quite beefy. They can be a little bit expensive. And what we can see also is that when we screw through, when we go through that uh, WRB membrane, which is our air control layer, it is actually self-sealing. So if you do have a screw go through, you don't have to worry about trying to get back there and tape because it'll be too late. So it does self-seal. If you do send a screw through and you don't hit anything, you have to leave that screw in because if you pull it out, you've just created a hole in that air control layer. Uh, but we do have to hit structural members. So we do have to hit the studs that are in the framing wall, which can be sometimes depending on the amount of exterior insulation you have, those screws can want to drift on you and you might not be able to, or you might have some trouble hitting those structural members. So laying out the screws is very important. We showed just an example of a, a dryer vent and an exterior electrical box. As long as we have our through flashing at the very bottom, we do not have to necessarily have through flashing at every point. We can have flashing coming back through and being taped either to the insulation or to the rain screen material, and then that will still guide water away. And if any water does get down past that, it goes down to that through flashing at the bottom.